Hello and welcome to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. Today our guest is Cynthia Garaya, who is a parish secretary and she studied legal studies as well. And she's going to be talking about her renewal of faith. She's always been Catholic, but she's got this new enthusiasm and she's going to be talking about that. Welcome to the program, Cynthia. Thank you, Mirella. It's great to be here. Lovely to have you. Now, um, what we usually start the program with, we, we read Mary's message from Medjugorje, which there's been apparitions there since 1981, June the 24th. And I'll start with reading Our Lady's message on August the 25th, and then we can talk about, you can talk about your experience. That'd be great. All right. Our Lady said, on August the 25th, 2022, to the world, to everyone, dear children, God permits me to be with you and to lead you on the way of peace so that through personal peace, you build peace in the world. I am with you and intercede for you before my son, Jesus, that he may give you a strong faith and hope in a better future, which I desire to build up with you. You be courageous and do not be afraid because God is with you. Thank you for having responded to my call. So I'll start with the first sentence. Our Lady said, Dear children, God permits me to be with you and to lead you on the way of peace, so that through personal peace, you build peace in the world. Does that reignite anything with you or does that resonate with you in any way that you want to talk about? I think a lot, yes. It's, um, it basically makes it clear that we have to find it within ourselves first um, mm -hmm. before we can, we can allow ourselves to give it to others. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it's, it comes down to the Holy Spirit and being led by the Holy Spirit um, and having, having yourself be filled with the Holy Spirit as much as you can to be able to know um, and be guided by the Holy Spirit in terms of you know, giving that to others sharing that. And have you had experiences where you've been on the other side where you've had a lack of peace and then you've had peace and mm. how did you get peace in that time? <sighs> through prayer, mm. through prayer and through surrendering. Yeah. Um, uh, spent a lot of time without Jesus and, and it felt very much in the dark yeah. um, and then opening myself up to prayer again and being loved and letting him into my heart then allowed me to feel that, that Holy Spirit again. Beautiful. And then Our Lady went on to say, I am with you and intercede for you before my son Jesus, that he may give you a strong faith. I'll just stop there. <laughs> so I'm with you and intercede for you before my son Jesus, that he may give you a strong faith. So have you had experiences where you felt Jesus in your life, that you've had an experience with Jesus giving you strong faith? There was a, a critical time where he appeared to me where I, it was very clear that it was time to come home. Mm. Um, I was always very close to him um, as a child, um, going to church and just receiving Eucharist and always being absolutely touched and, and crying and, and not out of sadness, but com out of complete joy. Um, and our connection being so close through all the problems that I had gone through and, and, and um, had to see in my life. Um, but that him appearing to me sort of changed everything um, it was his 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 presence that made me feel loved and that I belonged again and that um, everything was going to be okay from there on. That's beautiful. I heard recently someone was saying how soon, they didn't say when, but soon we'll all be so happy we'll be crying. <laughs> oh, I look forward to that day. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds like a bit of a, it sounds ironic, we'll be so happy we'll be crying, but it'll be, that's what I mean, it'll be, <laughs> yeah, bliss. it'll be amazing, yeah. Yeah. Um, then Our Lady said, so I'll read the beginning of the sentence again, I'm with you and intercede for you before my son Jesus, and that he may give you a strong faith and hope in a better future, which I desire to build up with you. So Our Lady here is talking about hope in a better future. Mm -hmm. um, 
have you got hope in a better future and how did you get to that state? I do, I do. Yeah. Now finally I can say that I do and I didn't before. You mm. know, I honestly felt like um, the darkness was just becoming more and more prevalent in my life and I didn't see the end of the tunnel. I didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I didn't feel that there was going to be this, you know, great ending where um, things made sense again. Um, but with the power of prayer and, and perseverance and and making him known that he's my first pro he's the first priority in my life mm -hmm. um, that nobody else can can compare to that and nobody else can love me like that mm -hmm. um, and I think focusing on that and letting him guide me um, and surrendering like I said before a thousand percent surrender um, to him and to his will for my life has allowed me to to come out of it yeah and because in your you had a bit of turmoil and um, some difficulties in your childhood you were saying um, so how did you, during those times, how did you get through that? For people that are going through struggles at the moment, maybe you can give them some tips. Sure. I just depended on his abundant love. <clears throat> I didn't really have anything else to, to um, depend on mm. or to lean on. Um, my family was very dysfunctional um, and it was getting worse over time. Things weren't seeming like they were going to get any better. Um, mm. They were actually really, really tragically getting worse. Um, and I just, I had no other choice. I just stayed in his love. I just somehow found my, my comfort in him. Um, and then growing older, I lost my way with him. And so got to experience the other side of life where, I, where I'm not walking with him at all. And, and all the struggles that I incurred in because of that choice um, were, you know, beyond words. Um, and, and I'm very grateful for being on the show because you're giving me an opportunity to actually explain the both both sides of it and then coming back to my faith and coming back home um, and how, yeah, how, how profound that is in my experience to have made it to back home. Beautiful. That's wonderful. Because, um, and then our lady says, oh, that's a good, good line now. <laughs> you be courageous and do not be afraid because God is with you. Thank you for having responded to my call. So that's it, isn't it? You, be, you were courageous, you weren't afraid, you took the step. You felt like you were on the wrong side and then you took the step on the right side. And the best thing is, is I worked out that he never left me. Yeah. I left him, you know, and for whatever reason, through yearning and all the rest of it, but he never left me. Yeah. And he was right there with open arms, ready to take me back when, when I was yeah. ready to do the same thing. So It's up to us, isn't it, to be conscious of Jesus being there, God yeah. being there. Definitely. And the work that goes into it, you know, whether it be doing the rosary or whether it be, um, you know, the minute you, you wake up and, and surrendering the day over, just giving him that the, the credit and the authority that he deserves in our lives. Beautiful. Um, yeah. We'll have to go to a break now, but we'll continue on that. Sure. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. Today, if you've just joined us, we have a guest called Cynthia Garaya, who studied law and is a parish secretary. And she's talking about her renewal of her Catholic faith. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. And we're also reading Mary's messages from Medjugorje. <laughs> so I'll start again with Our Lady's message from Medjugorje. This one is on July the 25th, 2022. Our Lady Queen of Peace has been appearing in Medjugorje, a little village in Bosnia-Herzegovina since June the 24th, 1981, and still is today. And this message says, July the 25th, 2022. Dear children, I am with you to lead you on the way of conversion. Because little children, with your lives, you can draw many souls closer to my son. You be joyful witnesses of God's word and love, and with hope in the heart which conquers every evil. Forgive those who inflict evil on you and go on the way of holiness. I am leading you to my son, for him to be the way, the truth and the life for you. Thank you for having responded to my call. So we'll start with the first sentence and then I'll let you say your whatever 
touches you in this. Yeah. Dear children, I am with you to lead you on the way of holy, on the way of conversion. Because little children, with your lives, you can draw many souls closer to my son. So what, what sort of experience have you had on that? Oh, I just feel that they've gone through so many different traumas, um, you know, whether it be, um, you know, sexually abused as a child, physically abused or in foster care or, um, you know, into bad toxic relations, relationships or, um, you know, not walking with Jesus and completely in the dark and, and um, having being, being um, exposed to evil forces and all of that sort of thing. I think if it, it gives me an opportunity to um, relate to others and, and share my story with others and, and then explain to them how it got me through. Um, how Jesus pulled me right out of that um, through prayer and, and, and kept me safe. Um, but yeah, definitely a strong believer in that what I've gone through is is to be able to relate to others and help them um, conquer their fears and, and overcome their traumas um, mm. towards God. And have you had experiences where you've been in that situation with others where you've been able to actually help them because you've gone through something similar? Most definitely. In, in every day-to-day -day life, to be honest with you. Um, I'm so transparent in my story and, and so open with what I've gone through that I feel like for some who maybe haven't had an opportunity to even go deep enough to, to talk about this sort of stuff, are freely um, you know, exposing what they've gone through um, mm. because of my transparency, which I'm very blessed for and praise mm. Jesus that I'm able to, to conduct myself that way and give others the opportunities mm. as well to, to go within mm. and, and, and look deeper. And what gave you the courage to be able to speak up about what happened to you to others? I think the truth has a lot of power. And I think when you talk about something that has happened that um, maybe in, in, a, in a beautiful or um, sort of perfect world shouldn't happen, but the reality, reality of it is, is that it does happen. And I think talking about that and actually then forgiving your perpetrator or forgiving yourself or understanding why that experience has, has happened to you, to then know that you're, you've built up strength and resilience um, from it, and then to then teach others to do the same. Mm. Because it's interesting because when some things like that happen to people, it can, it could go either way, couldn't it? it could, they could be desperate and it could be worse or they could be, mm. you know, just go off the rails. So it's good that you've, you're able to speak about it and you've come through and you've, you've seen a lot of suffering, but you've, you're shining bright. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. By like the grace star. of God. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's what we, we all are. We're like God's stars, aren't we? You know? We are. We are. God's real superstars, you know? Yeah, in, in the, the making. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he wants us yeah. to be like that. Like, he loves yeah. everyone perfectly. Yes. You yeah, know? Definitely. And where every single person is his joy. Like, he created each person. Yeah. It's amazing. And I think that, you know, he, he takes glory in that as well, in, in that somebody, say, who's gone through so much that, you know, is destined to be ridden of, of you know, um, good wealth, good, good, good faith, you know, um, just reaping in good things. Mm. I think he comes in and he shows us that no matter how bad it's gotten or how many times it's gotten that bad, that he's always there to pick us up again. Um, and I make reference to the Footprints Prayer, uh, one of my mum's favourite, yeah. where, you know, he is there, he never leaves mm. us and he will pick us up out of that if we allow him and we let him. That's the thing. And, um, and by the great, you know, we need to, I suppose, maybe we should say an Our Father for everyone suffering right now. Let's Please. do that. Yes. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes, you know, when we, when we, when we look at other people's suffering or we hear about it, Sometimes we have no words and we, 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 we don't even know how we can help them. And, you know, everybody wants, I mean, most people want to help and they don't want people to suffer. Yeah. But I think, I think the world's going through a big change now. I really do. I think there is, we've gone through the worst of it. Yeah. We've, as a world, we've hit rock bottom. Mm. So now the only way is up. Mm. And I think things are going to start looking brighter. But... I think a lot of people are going to open their eyes to what has been happening in the past that we probably weren't aware of, mm. and um, now you know we just we have to like like you said earlier, God has been with us all the time. It's us that's left Him. We all need to just 
come back to him, you know, recognise that he's there and then our lives will change. And then it'll have a ripple effect as well. If we just say, look, okay, God, God made us in his image. He created the stars, the moon, the, you know, the sun, everything yeah. and us in his image. So imagine if we tap into how much goodness we have within us, how much power, God's power we have within us. Within us, yep. Yeah. What we could do, but we don't. We don't seem to think that way. We mm. just seem to limit ourselves so much. So that's why we need. I think that's what's going to happen. That's the big change. I reckon yeah. people are going to start to really see yeah. God in each other, God in themselves, mm. and really recognise the beauty of God in nature and everywhere around them. Yes, most definitely, most definitely. And I think that it's an exchange. You know, I think that we, um, you know, all good things come at a price. Mm. where it's it's not just about you know being a child of God but actually doing and and following his instructions to us as he did with with the Almighty Father mm. you know mm. prayer going off and, and in early mornings you know and going and and giving your time that self you know giving 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 that opportunity to come f to, for it to nourish you know all his words to us or, or even his love to us we just need to sort of allow the time beautiful we have to go to a break you're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Cynthia Garaya, who is a parish secretary and has also done some legal studies. And she's talking about her renewal of faith back into the Catholic faith. She's always been Catholic, but she's had a renewal. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. And so we've gone with also Mary's messages, which is what we're focusing on as well. Our Lady said um, the second part of the message was, on the 25th of July 2022 you be joyful witnesses of God's word and love so you be joyful witnesses of God's word and love and with hope in the heart which conquers every evil wow the kind of like the answers are right there <laughs> be joyful witnesses with hope in your heart be joyful witnesses of God's word and love with hope in the heart which conquers every evil what would you like to say on that one? Oh, there's a few things I want to say, um, but most importantly, I think I think that's it. It, it does. It, it puts it all um, into perspective. That that's the bottom line. That you know we could we could um, you know worry ourselves with status and 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 cars and and all the monetary things in this world, but we don't find complete true solace and contentment and happiness until we actually turn to Jesus, and then He fills us with all the things that those other things can't can't do mm. and, and i believe that that then you know protects you from all evil and and everything else because you are walking in in the holy spirit exactly and if you're not if you don't feel this peace and this connection with god in life and you're just chasing evil or money or just whatever basically evil bad things you're never going to have peace anyway and you're never going to have that same peace that you get from god so mm. i don't know why people would bother and it's, really? it's, it's one of those things that can be very confusing because mm. I think many people don't know that until they hit rock bottom. Yeah. Um, and I think that, you know, it's, it's just the way that we're living in society at, at this time where especially now more than ever that, um, you know, the, the, the other things seem more important um, or, or more satisfying. Yeah. And then it's sometimes it's through illness or, or death that yeah. people realise, oh, well, no, that's actually secondary to the purpose of living yeah um and and loving each other for example yeah. loving yourself loving jesus yeah. um and and too i've um through working in law firms and you know doing bachelor of law and everything else just thought one day that it just didn't satisfy me at all yeah. and i and i was very confused i didn't know where to go from there because that was a big part of my 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 motivation and my my focus um but yeah just praying even on that that you know lord you know my skills but i want to serve you and trusting that he's listening and he's going to follow through that's beautiful that's yeah. absolutely beautiful then our lady said forgive those who inflict evil on you and go on the way of holiness so in life you could be holding grudges with you know people that have done bad things to you 
But you can just, you don't have to even confront them. You just go, <laughs> go on the way of holiness and go in peace. I think people will learn by seeing the way you live, really. I think it shows. It shows without having to say anything. Um, and I think for the people who are, you know, intending bad on you or ill on you, I think that the best thing you can do is to not stoop to their level mm. because um, that's what happens when you give somebody your reaction. You are actually taking yourself away from your real core self to, to react to that other person's energy levels or, or intent. And, um, you know, I did receive a little message from Jesus a while ago saying you don't need to worry about that side of life. Stay with me and stay, keep your mind fixed on me and all things will be peaceful. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's beautiful. And have you had experiences where you've, you've gone through that the sexual line, like forgive those who inflict evil on you and go on the way of holiness? I have. I have. There's been um, a, a few attacks on my life um, and people who for different reasons, um, you know, and I've had to sort of separate myself from that. Um, it, it, we all have a journey with, with our Creator, and I think that, you know, until you actually realise the, the purpose of that and give yourself the opportunity to achieve that, it's, it can be a very, very um, confusing time, you know. Mm. We will blame each other and do, re rely upon each other, relying upon flesh, instead of relying upon our ultimate abundant living God, um, and I've experienced things where people have relied on me on things um, mm. and then been let down because they are not striving for anything greater. Mm. Um, and that can be, you know, really confusing for them. Mm. Um, but I do pray for them and I have found a way to forgive them for any, any malice mm. or any um, bad intent. Mm. Because I know they're also children of God who might be a bit lost and don't know the way. So I pray for them to find their way. Yeah. And then Our Lady said, I'm leading you to my son. For him to be the way, the truth, and the life for you. Thank you for having responded to my call. So that's all in the Bible, the Holy Bible, the way, the truth, and the life. And he's also in us, like he's in each other. He's in us. You know, you can see Jesus in your neighbour. You can mm. love Jesus in your neighbour. Yes, yes, definitely. I think when you go through these turmoils, you know, it does. It sort of pain creates change, mm. um, and you know, it, it for me anyway in my life, it has. It really has stripped all of the comforts in life you know um, and made me realize where I really want to I want to repose in him yeah like that's home you know that's where I find all the peace and all the contentment um, and that's where I'm open to ideas that the Holy Spirit puts in me to to do to operate you know to help others and things like that um, and yeah con comparing it to how I have lived in the past it's a very 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 different way of, of living you know. And what was the turning point that made you decide to give God a go again? I, I studied spirituality for 20 years and I was yearning and, and it was all in, in, the, in the greater good. Um, but I wasn't walking with Jesus and um, he appeared to me. Um, and it just, it just everything, became, everything became clear. It was full perspective on I belong to him. I've always belonged to him. My morals and my ways. Um, are his and I just knew that I had to come back home and it was mm. then that you know it was a very hard time in my life mm. very dark time in my life and and bad things around me were happening and um, it was time to change you know time to surrender again and mm. and be my core self mm. which um, I'm very blessed to have been able to come full circle because I think sadly not many people do thank you so much for coming on the program would you like to come back on again next week I would love to beautiful You've been watching Spirit of Life. I hope you enjoyed the program and may God bless you and love you. May you feel his presence. We'll see you again soon.